Hey everyone, Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping by and joining me. I am here to do another um, planner layout. I'm calling this planning with a non-planner. Um, I'm committed to making a layout every week um, for 2019. So far, so good. I know, we're only on week three. So, I think I'm doing pretty good <laughs> so far. But um, I do not consider myself a, a planner girl at all. I would love to to reach that status, but for right now, I am just in the beginning phases, and um, yeah, so that's what this video is about. So these are the three planners that I'm using. Um, this one is a Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook, and I have already shared the, the layout that I did um, because it is actually two weeks on a page. So this is the layout that I did for um, for the 14th through the 20th and then the 21st through the 27th. Um, I used the Carpe Diem planner stickers um, and I really, really like how it turned out. Um, like I said, I am still brand new into planning, so this is what I came up with for that. That is that one. Um, this one right here is a, um, what is this? This one is a Carpe Diem uh, personal size traveler's note or planner. And what I'm using this one for is for my Etsy shop and for YouTube um, to kind of track subscribers and what I've sold and what I've posted in videos and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know if I shared this one or not. Um, it does kind of have some personal information on it, so we're just gonna um, skip right through that one. <laughs> but this is the one that I did for this week. Um, I think it turned out really, really cute. What I used was I actually, um, now this is a really cheap way of doing this, but I Googled um, printable planner spreads or layouts and I actually found this one um, just off of like I said googling it and I printed it out on sticker paper and I think it turned out really really cute now the way that these are laid out is actually um, in horizontal strips but I ended up doing it um, vertically and that way I could have I, I could use it better um, so what I did was I just, I put all the the little squares down and then I used washi tape to coordinate it. I'm going to have to stick these down better. Um, and then just added some more stickers up here. So I think it's kind of fun and playful. Um, yeah, so that's the one I did in this one. And then the last one is a um, TN that I made. Um, I'm always making them and selling them. And I never keep one for myself, and so I really, really liked the paper pad that I was using. Um, it, it's the My Mind's Eye doop, 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 doop. Um, Bliss paper pad. I found it Tuesday morning. This is just the faux leather from Hobby Lobby. Um, and so this one is just really, I am doing like bullet journaling and... Um, just to really practice on my spreads and so that's what I'm using this one for so this is for this upcoming week um, and I used the uh, reset girl stickers to do this one I think it turned out absolutely adorable um, this is just a recollections planner insert and I just kind of I covered it all up I think that it turned out really, really cute. Um, I just wrote in the days right there. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that one. And then um, for this, just for some bullet journaling, I made this little page. Um, once again, it is the Reset Girl um, Planner Girl stickers. And I'm going to just do some bullet journaling and things like that in that one. So those are my layouts for the upcoming week. 
Um, I do appreciate y'all stopping by and joining me. I am always open to suggestions and comments. Um, I would love some advice on, on different ways to, um, to make layouts, um, different products, different Etsy shops, all different kinds of things. Um, I'm just, I'm new to it and I am open to anything. So yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by and until next time, see you later.